hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so as you understand this is the you know placement review of the top four colleges in bangalore and this is purely based on the nirf data which company which colleges share with you know government of india education ministry for getting the nba accreditation every year so this is the data given by college itself and college also provides the complete details of those placed students along with their salary and the company name so it is authentic data given by college first college which is rv college of engineering right so this is the three years tabulation of data and uh, uh, please note that there are multiple columns like a number of students graduating in minimum stipulated period is what are the students which are eligible for you know sitting in the placements right or they are eligible for placements but in every college there will be larger number of students which, which will be there for example in the rv itself 1300 to 1400 students are there out of which only 1097 are eligible as per 2021 figure and out of those 1097 eligible 70 students went for higher studies right so they did not sit in the placement right so 1097 minus 70 and approximately 10 you know 37 or 27 students uh, sat in the you know placements and then out of 1027 students 683 students got jobs right so and with the median salary of 8 lakhs so this is you know uh, data which is given by rvc itself to the government you know for this thing and so that means around 300 students are there which have not got placement so they were eligible for getting into placements but they have not got placements right so that is a percentage placement you can yeah. and these are the students mostly from the branches like civil mechanical iem and other branches right so i get a lot of queries from students you know, to tell about the placements in those lower end branches and the lower end branches will never have a 100% placement it will be around you know 50 to 60% and that's how you know the this number shows that right and as per the median salary 8 lakhs and previous year the median salary was 8.5 lakhs right and previous to previous year 8 lakhs so rv median salary is 8 lakh 8.5 lakhs consistently over 3 years now let's go over the you know placement details of bms college of engineering so again the same you know column if you see here the uh, for the current year 20, for the last year 2021 the number of students graduating in stipulated period is 960 962 and out of that you know 100 students has gone for higher studies so if you minus that around 862 students were eligible and out of those 862 students 803 got placed so which is quite good you know almost 80 students have not got placed but that's all uh, otherwise it's very good and the median salary of uh, bms has increased to 8 lakhs so earlier years you know if you see out of 961 eligible 759 got placed and the median was 7.6 lakhs and previous to previous year 960 out of 967 656 got placed and median was 7 lakhs so if you see both the figures number of placed students is also increasing and almost it is 90 percent plus placements and the median salary is also increasing every year from 7 lakhs it has become 8 lakhs so bms college of engineering is an excellent choice and as you know this is the first engineering college in um, uh, in in India right so quite old established and placements are also excellent and it should be a good choice you know one other observation you will see from the last line right that 100 students have gone for higher studies or 150 or 152 so these are students going for mtech or mba uh, you know courses after b now let's move to the third college which is the pes university so again pes university this covers both the campuses which is you know electronic city campus as well as the ring road campus right so if you see the number of students graduating in the minimum stipulated period is 1250 1250 but the actual number of students in this two college put together is 2500 right so college may decide that all students who are studying in all the branches are not eligible to sit in placement so you can see i'm 100 percent sure it is more than 2500 students who are studying in both the pes uh, you know campuses but out of which only 1250 are eligible and out of 1250 who are eligible 1088 got placed right and 134 students uh, have gone for higher studies right and the median salary for this year is 7.3 lakhs which is also good but the number of students who are eligible are quite less so you know a lot of management seats are there and but you know all the students don't get past the exam of four semesters or they don't qualify for cgpa criteria 
and that's why they are not eligible to um, sit in the placement but out of the eligible 1088 got placed previous year also out of 1230 eligible 1014 student got placed and 207 has gone for higher studies and the median salary was 7.2 lakhs and to previous to previous year 930 eligible and 781 got placed right with the median of 6.5 so so the median salary of ps university is also increasing quite well the only thing which you and uh, students no need to remember that only 1250 students are eligible should sit in the uh, you know placement right so rest of the students who take admission at a higher fees of 4 lakhs and above right uh, if they don't you know do well with their, with their academics or don't meet the criteria for you know cgpa though most of them will not get placed right and this ps university has a very good number of branches which are you know well paid branches right except biotechnology which which may be lower right on placement so now the last college on the list is ms ramaya institute of technology msrit and again you know we can see the you know the number of students graduating in the stipulated time in the 2021 batch was 1121 and out of 1121 224 students have gone for higher studies so um you know if you subtract that around the after that 812 students got placed right so the percentage of students got placed is good but if you can see the median salary the median salary of ms ramaya is 5.5 lakhs right so that means out of 812 only uh, you know around 406 students are getting salary above 5.5 lakh rest of the 406 students are getting salary below 5.5 lakhs right so that is the figure and if you see the previous year's median salary that was 5 lakh and previous to previous year the median salary was 4.5 lakh so ms ramaya typically lags into median salary which is only increasing from 4.5 to 5.5 lakhs in three years but the percentage placement wise it is quite good and a good number of students like 200 plus students go for you know higher studies that itself shows that higher number of people going for higher studies means the placement amount what they are expecting or ctc they are not getting in that range and they are going for higher studies right so that's all i have to cover for the you know placement review based on the nrf data which is given by college themselves to call to the you know, authorities and thanks for watching and please do subscribe to get similar placement updates about all the colleges in karnataka and have a great day